All right, so we're going to be moving on uh, from Madden 2002 to NCAA football 2003, back when uh, the NCAA still made games that somehow had char characters that were similar to their real-life counterparts. No idea how that happened. So we're going to play, uh, we're going to use North Carolina, which is my uh, preferred team. A uh, couple of reasons, first of all, uh, it's my favorite. Second off, uh, in most of these college football games, uh, they're not all that good. So if I'm winning games with them, you can see I'm actually uh, doing better at these uh, than I was at Madden 2002. We've also upped the difficulty level here uh, to All-American, and we'll kind of keep that consistent throughout the uh, throughout the college football games in the future as we hit them. Uh, unless I've got a game previously set to Heisman mode, and I don't think that that's the case. All right, so we're going to be playing the Oregon Ducks, and the reason for that is because Joey Harrington was on the cover of this game. And we're playing in the Orange Bowl just to show that you can play at neutral site. This is before um, these games had the built-in home field advantage uh, gimmick. That would be a couple games later. And I'm going to defer on the kickoff. Or I'm going to defer and kick off. Uh, and that will allow me to get the ball first in the second half, which is my preferred way to uh, do it. All right, so we have on the field uh, the 19, God, not the 19, geez, the 2002-2003 North Carolina Tar Heels. Um, now, because I'm a Tar Heel fan, I do have the, I do have names attached to all these players on this roster. Uh, I do not have the Oregon players with names. In fact, I don't have uh, much. In fact, the Tar Heels are the only team I've got names on because I got this game just kind of to see what it was like because the first game in the series I was actually exposed to was the game for the next year, uh, College Football 2004. So this was an experiment sort of years later to go back and see what this was like. Um... And yeah, I much prefer 2004 to this game. The button combinations are sort of similar to the way they were in Madden 2002, so they're not quite the buttons I'm used to from the more uh, familiar games. And my defensive strategies got more sophisticated, but unfortunately the team I'm using, uh, North Carolina, didn't exactly have a great defense despite uh, that guy getting losing his head there uh, in 2002. That's because the 2001 version of the heels uh, were the Julius Peppers, Ryan Sims heels. Uh, they had a great defense. You know, they had uh, NFL players, uh, two guys who would make the NFL at linebacker. Um, they had, you know, of course, Peppers and Sims on the line, a couple of other veteran linemen. It was a really stacked uh, defense. And then all those guys left in the same year, and the defense in 2002 was awful. It was so awful, in fact, that they moved the they moved the fullback, uh, Madison Hedgecock, who would later play for the New York Giants and win a Super Bowl, uh, to the defensive line for the next two seasons. Uh, I like Hedgecock, and I like the fact that he's a 240, 260-pound uh, battering ram at uh, at fullback. And so I am going to – I did not move him to the defensive line, which means I have uh, those same guys that they're having trouble with there. And there's another guy who made it to the pros, uh, Sam Aiken, the best receiver – um, maybe the best-rated player on the roster for this team. Now, you're going to see me run a lot of the same play. Um, there are only a couple plays I really trust with this version, or with this year. One of them is the halfback ISO play, which is a fa out of the I-Form Twins formation. That's a favorite of mine because you can 
Uh, it's not so much the play you pick, but reading the defense at the line and seeing what they're going to do as to where you send uh, the play. Also, having Madison Hedgecock uh, deliver a massive lead block for you is generally a good thing. So we've driven all the way down to the one-yard line here uh, on our first drive, and we're going to see if uh, Hedgecock can plunge it in. Except that I didn't like the uh, didn't like what they showed me on the the goal line defense, so I audibled out to a quick throw to the tight end. Unfortunately, that was actually covered, which is a little unusual. Um, but that took out my uh, my starting running back got fatigue. Uh, my starting running back would be Willie Parker, who would later win the Super Bowl with the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. So instead, Andre Williams, who I believe may be on the UNC coaching staff these days, um, came in and plunged it in from about a yard out. So now, after getting a 7-0 lead, we are going to be uh, starting on defense again. Now the commentator, uh, the commentators for this game were Brad Nessler, uh, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit. So it was everybody from the lead uh, ESPN college football calling team at the time except for the play-by-play -play guy, I think, Chris Fowler. Which really wasn't a problem for me. I like, I generally like Brad Nessler on the call. But again, like the Madden games, you'll, you'll get some re uh, repetitiveness. Usually the best things about their commentary are the statements they make uh, before the game even, even starts. All right, we could have picked that off, but instead we decided to knock it away from each other. But they're going third and two with the goal line formation, so I'm going to bring in uh, the 4-4 four, four front, four linemen, four, four line backers. I'm going to pinch the line here and try to keep them from running up the middle. Of course, they decided to throw it anyway, and tight end number 81 uh, is pretty good. You'll see a lot of him, I think, over the course of this playthrough. And, yeah, sorry, Oregon Ducks fans. I don't remember uh, the names of anybody who was on the Oregon Ducks in 2002. All right, they sneak it into uh, wide receiver number 15 there and move it up for another first down. And so to match their new running set, we're going to go into a 4-3 defense here. Uh, not a lot of exciting – again, there's not a lot of uh, really um, good guys. Uh, the free safety, Dexter Reed, is pretty good. Um, the cornerback, Michael Waddell, has got a lot of speed, but there's not a lot of not a lot of power on the defensive line or in the linebacking core. Uh, a lot of these guys were young, freshmen, sophomores. There's tight end 41. and I may have gotten tight end number 81 confused with tight end number 41. I think it may be it's tight end number 41 that's going to be the real thorn in our sides. Although he's not on the field right now, so maybe maybe I was right the first time. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm, go I'm going to keep shifting the uh, linebackers over to where the fullback is just to play with the offensive mind. It doesn't really do anything um, that I'm aware of. We managed to get a sack with Clay Roberson, one of the few veterans on this defense. Down at the 
They get only a yard from the pass play. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. And that's the end of the first quarter. So we're doing much better than we were um, in the Falcons Panthers game. Since we're up 7 0, but we're also making more use of what the game has to offer. And although I got a pretty good stunt up the middle there, um, didn't quite get to the quarterback. But it's fourth and seven. They're in no man's land, so they're going to go for it. And I'm going to send out a dime defense to attempt to keep track of them. No pressure on the quarterback, uh, but he still misses the long pass. This was another, they didn't really improve the catching on the receivers for another couple of games. Um, so you will see some of the same issues that Madden 2002 had. And we'll take over the ball uh, near the 50. And once again, I'm going to send uh, fast Willie Parker in and around the line. There's my user stats uh, for the game. You can see that I didn't really play very much of this. I played about um, one season's worth because this game, I think, had a season mode. It had a franchise mode, you know, a dynasty mode, but it also just had where you could play one season. So I just played one season, uh, won the title, and played maybe a few more rivalry games or something like that to get to the 22 games that are there. Now here is one of the differences between this game and Madden 2002. The passing icons come up immediately in this game. Instead of having to turn them on like you did in Madden 2002, they're automatically on and you use the Y button to turn them off and to allow your quarterback to uh, run for it. Be concerned when you send your quarterback running around in this game. Um, if he doesn't have a very good carry rating, there's lots of potential for fumbles. Because they don't carry the ball well. All right, we'll push Willie Parker up for the first down. Uh, if you're familiar with Willie Parker and his collegiate days, uh, most of his running... <laughs> You know, most of the excitement he caused it was on big runs where he would get loose. Um, running up between the tackles was not really his thing. So, you know, we're, we're, we're sort of playing around with stuff here. All right, this time we... Uh, we called a play-action pass and threw it over to Chesley Borders, uh, who looks like he's going to be hurt, but then gets up anyway. That's another thing I didn't really like about uh, this game is the crossing patterns for the receivers are kind of slow to develop, and they don't go very far out in the routes. Um So, you know, you're liable to throw that pass out of bounds if you try to get it over to him. Right. Here we're going to try another play-action pass, uh, and that gets us sacked. So we're looking at third and 14 here, and, you know, we're on the 17-yard line. There's not, We don't really have a lot of good options. So I'm just going to go back to a play that's sort of my bread and butter uh, for this game and a play that was much improved in the next uh, iteration. So we throw to Hilton. Uh, Hilton's going to get us to within about three yards or four yards, uh, the first down marker. And I'm just going to kick the field goal. So that is uh, that's Zach Hilton. Zach Hilton... Uh, I think spent, you know, he did make it to a pro roster. I don't know how long he was in the league. But now we're up 10 nothing, and we have a little bit more of a, a breathing room 
against the Ducks. And one of the dangers of this game, and maybe college football games in general, is that when you take on a superior team with an inferior one, as far as ratings, team ratings are concerned, uh, there's always the chance that they can come back on you and come back on you quickly, you know, just by some stupid uh, thing, you know, like a, an interception they shouldn't have gotten to or a, a, pa a long bomb pass play. So 10 points is not a comfortable lead, and I've got to continue to be vigilant to make sure that I don't let them have anything that they just that they shouldn't just have. If you're curious, the uh, defensive end I've been playing for I'm playing with here is uh, sophomore Jokish Dumas. Uh, Dumas would later convert to tight end his senior year. The other defensive end, the guy on the other end of the line, a uh, guy by the name of Tommy Davis, uh, turned out to be a pretty good little player um, for the Heels by the time of his junior and senior seasons. I think he's a redshirt freshman in this game. Okay, so their quarterback um, tries to run for it. He fumbles, and they recover, but they don't really have any options but to punt here. I'm going to call timeout so that I get uh, some time back on the clock for this final drive. You know, 57 seconds in a college football video game is time to march down the field. If we were in a version of the game that was newer than this one, um, it would be even, it would definitely be enough time. Here I only have a couple of plays that I really trust uh, the offense to perform. And the defense has to be uh, matched up right. So here you can see they've abandoned the safeties. So my best play is probably to Hilton the tight end since it, the middle of the field is going to be there. I make a lot of my reads pre-snap. I'm uh, not very much, I'm not very good at keeping track of what's going on after the snap starts. So, you know, if a guy, like that time I got lucky, uh, you know, if a guy breaks free or something of that nature, I'm not necessarily going to be able to tell that right away. Or he has a spacing, or if the defense is caught up with him. Running, on the other hand, uh, I will make those reads while the play's going on. So that time I decided to bounce it to the outside, and there was nobody there to stop me. So successfully, we have now built a bigger lead we've now built a bigger uh, lead at 17 to nothing and we're going to kick once again Okay, so now Oregon only has 14 seconds to do something with the ball. Uh, they say they're going to use a run formation. Um, I'm going to buy that and and then Coleman, who's been hitting people hard all game, uh, hits that guy. I don't really remember Coleman. No offense to Coleman, I, I just don't. So, 17-0 at the half. I'll see you next time.